So let's look at the another example. So the natural next uh, example is x minus y. So we start we want we start with it's a distribution function, probability of z less than or equal to z. Remember the same problem. The joint density function of x and y is given, and we want the density function of z. So, but z is in this case given to be x minus y. So, we need to figure out where this region is in the two dimensional plane. So, you have x, you have y. So, where is this region? Anyone? So, first of all, you need to draw the line x minus y equal to z. So if you don't know how to draw it, just pick two points. Put <coughs> So x minus y equal to z. <coughs> Put y equal to 0, x is z. So y equal to 0, x is here. And so I assume, of course, uh, x is positive. And when uh, x is 0, y is uh, minus z. So if z, I'm sorry, if z is positive, this is, the other point would be here. So the line would go like this, right? So you don't have to... So this is z, and uh, this is of course for z positive. How will the line look like if z is negative? It will, yeah, it will just shift up, right? And which is the region where x minus y is less than or equal to z? So again, take a point here and see whether that point is satisfied. If it is satisfied, then it is to the left. So this point is x equal to 0, y equal to 0. If z is positive, 0 is less than z. So this, this is the region where x minus y is less than or equal. So in general, it is this. So I'm going to take a, to a strip like this, or I could have taken a vertical strip. And so this will turn out to be double integral, fx, y, x comma, y. I'm going to integrate on x first, minus infinity to this line x minus y equal to z. So look at here, x goes up to z plus y, right? And in general, y goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. So if I take the derivative <coughs> of the distribution function, I get the density function. So this is minus infinity to plus infinity uh, dx. This limits being constant, we ne I need to take the derivative of this quantity with respect to z. So the derivative of the top limit is 1. Then I substitute <coughs> the top limit into wherever I see x. Then the derivative of the bottom limit is 0. Derivative of this quantity with respect to z is 0. So this is the answer. So that looks very familiar to the previous problem. Previously, remember, we had minus here, right? So, of course, if at this point, if I say x and y are independent, then you could write this as minus infinity to uh, plus infinity fx of z plus y, fy of uh, y dy. This is the convolution of fx of minus z and fy, if you know how to do that. because of this plus sign here. Let me do one more interesting case. Uh, suppose the second case interesting is suppose as before, x and y are non-negative random variables. Non-negative random variables. Uh, so z equal to x minus y, uh, z, uh, remember in, uh, in this case, even if x, is, x and y are non-negative random variables, z could be what? z equal to x plus y is always positive if x and y are positive. How about uh, z equal to x minus y? Can, can be positive or negative. So we have to consider two cases. So you have to consider z positive and z negative. 
Oh, so remember, FCC, it's, almost, it's exactly the same as this is probability of x minus y less than or equal to c. So the question is, where is this region? Look at here. So that's what <coughs> I was saying before. If z is positive, how will be the line? We drew this before, right? If z is negative, first of all, the density function is only here. It's given to us, right? Why? Look at here. I'm solving this problem. So the density function is 0. I don't have to, uh, there's nothing to integrate here. Density function is 0. Here the line will be like this. Anyone with where the issues are drawing this line? That will be too late now, right? So this is the line x minus y equal to z. This is x minus y equal to z. Let's also mark all these points. What is this point, anyone? What is this point? y equal to 0 you put, so x is z, and this point is minus z. It doesn't matter because we are never going to integrate anything there, but we need this point. What is this point? You put uh, x equal to 0, so y is? Which makes sense because z is negative, so minus z is positive, okay. So everything checks. So where are we integrating? Where is this region where x minus y is less than or equal to c? I went, I went, so we have to integrate over this region. Here again, it is this. Where is this region? Not down, right? Right? This is the region where the dense inequality is satisfied. Now again, if you have doubt, just take a point here. Point, always this is the easy. So this point is 0, 0. That certainly is less than, remember, this is the case z positive. z is like 2. So 0 is less than 2. So this point is satisfied. Take a point here. So let's say z, <coughs> so. So you can see this is the case where x minus y is less than or equal to z. And uh, same thing here. If you take a point here, right, so this is, uh, x is 0 here, right, so x is 0, so a, a point here is, uh, uh, y, the, you can see y is greater than, uh, right, you can see from the diagram, minus y, so this is the region where this is, in, is. once you have that, I can uh, write down the, I'll write to both here. So FCC it will be probability of x minus y less than or equal to z. So I have two cases, uh, z positive and uh, z negative. Uh, so this is going to be joint density function of x comma y. I'm going to, so which way is the strip I should take? I should take this way or this way? Hmm? If I take vertical strips, when I reach here, then it's another region. So it's best to take horizontal strips here. And here, it doesn't matter, but uh, you could take it this way or this way. Right? So this, from here to this value of x, so this is from 0 to z plus y, and y goes from z, no, minus infinity, 0 to infinity. Right? And uh, here, uh, so again, uh, first we integrate x, then we integrate y. So we'll do the same thing here. First we integrate x. So x goes from 0 to z plus y, right? And y goes from? Not 0. That's the reason I have the diagram. So you are not going to do these problems without diagrams, you can see, right? Because the limits are too confusing to figure out. Minus z to infinity. Once you have this, you don't need the diagram, so I'm just going to, you can keep the diagram, of course. Now from here, I can take the density function, right? I can take the derivative and find the density function. <coughs> 
so see whether you can follow me. So this is integral. Uh, so you just need to take the derivative here, right? So that's 1. You substitute 4x. So this is going to be fxy z plus y comma y dy. And in the other case, it's, uh, let's see, a derivative of the top limit 0, derivative of the bottom limit, this is minus z, is minus 1, minus 1, minus minus plus 1, right? Then when I substitute that limit into, what happened here? There is also a y here, right? Uh, into the y, why I have two places, this will become z minus y, 0 to 0, again no contribution. So the derivative, this answer is minus z to infinity, a derivative of this quantity with respect to z, so that again you can do it mentally, 1 multiplied by fxy z plus y comma y. So the only difference is in terms of limits, but you wouldn't know unless we do this, right? So this is for z positive, this is for z negative. I'm going to leave that previous problem for you to do it. So let's say the joint density function is given by what we had here. So in this case, what happens? X is greater than Y, right? Huh? So Z can never be negative, right? So this term, uh, there will be no contribution from here. You just uh, sub we need to substitute it here and solve it, right? Uh, so we can do this mentally. FCC would be just uh, this case, right? See, X is greater than Y. So X minus Y is always positive. So this term integral will be 0. So this will be integral 0 to infinity. And this integral is? So it's e raised to minus z is e positive. And what type of density function is this? This is exponential with parameter 1. Okay. Just happen to, happens to be the case. All right, so you can uh, do problems like this, right? Go home. But you need to be reasonably uh, expert by the time you come back next week. That's the way things uh, build up. Right?